Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Perry, and I want to tell you a story. Actually, I'm going to let you in on a secret. Um, I'm going to let you in on a secret, and I might get in trouble sharing this openly. Nobody is more conservative than all black people. And if you were raised knowing some older black people, you are very conservative. Now, I already know that many of you are going to say, oh, no, 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 blah, 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 blah. And some of you are going to attack with a vengeance my examples and say, well, I do that too. That's because somebody black was somewhere raising somebody who raised you. <laughs> We're not a word allowed to say the word lie. Where do they do that? In the halls of Congress. You can't call somebody a liar. And we can't either. We have to say words like story. You, I'm 60. My siblings are older than me, except with the exception of one. They, many of them, most of them, smoke and drink. They've never done it in front of my mother. Grown people, you don't sit down at a table with your parents and everybody's drinking together. You, you don't do it. Prayer in the morning, prayer in the night, flags in the house with a picture of Martin Luther King and John F. Kennedy and Jesus. We had this idea that there's only one group of people who are conservative and one group of people who are liberal, or that each person is a liberal or conservative. In some areas of your life, you're more conservative. In some areas of your life, you may be more liberal. In fact, my mother would say to somebody wearing tattoos, all oh, those are the most beautiful tattoos. And then she turned and looked at you and you better not go get none. In our family, there is this acceptance and embrace and love for everyone while there are standards and rules for you. That is a very black thing. It is. No, no, no. I, 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 I know you're sitting there saying, I do that too. Not to the extent that I'm talking about. And if you think you do, then you don't really know black people that well. I'm telling you that we have lived so quietly and close to the best that you don't really understand this. Now, if you're Indian, you know what I'm talking about. And I mean Indian family from India. You know exactly what I'm stop playing it. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all so, cons you, you black people conservative. <laughs> you are. You truly are. And there's so many similarities and so many cultural things that run like this. And yet, people don't really know how we live and who we are. I am the most feminist feminist that I know. But you put me in a kitchen around some older folk and there's some men. I'm fixing plates with everybody else. <sighs> there are some ways and some customs and some things that run so deep in our lives and in our family. And what I'm saying to you is, you don't know because we don't tell you. And there's an opportunity now for me to tell you, but what I'm telling you, try to listen and try to listen without thinking you already know. We're going through some changing times and I'm hearing people who are willing to listen. But what's amazing to me is a lot of my friends, people of color are willing to share. And we typically don't because somebody cuts us off with, oh, we do that too. And you're not really hearing the depth of that story. 
more than likely you haven't even been to that house. <laughs> Indians, y'all got a kitchen outside your kitchen. Because you, you, <laughs> you, you don't bring no smells in that house. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love that we're getting close enough to know a little bit more about each other. But to do that, you've got to open your heart. I love you.